Hi everyone, welcome to educators.com. This is Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about how to load the data into the table, and how to insert the data from one table to the another table, and multiple table inserts. Loading the data into the tables. In the previous module, we have discussed how to create a table. So once the table is created, a schema we will be specifying. For example, like I have created the employee table and which consisting of, for instance, employee ID, employee name, department, and salary. But we have to load the actual data into the table, like 101, Shravanti, and department one. Department is uh, some one and some salary some 10,000 for example. So how to load those data is there are two different ways. One is your input file can be there in the local file system. At that instance what we are going to do is with the help of the load data local in path. We will be specifying the local clause with the help of that we will be letting the system know that my input file which I am loading is not the HDF file, it is just a local file system. And here, if you see the syntax, you have to specify load data, local in path and you should provide the file path details and into the table, which table you wanted to load. If you specify the overwrite, it will delete the previous content and it loads the data fresh and we also are having the another details like loading the data directly from the Hadoop distributed file system. So in that case what we are going to do is we will be having the details if you observe this thing earlier in this load data local in part we have specified the local clause but if you are directly loading it from the Hadoop distributed file system will not be giving any of the local clause. Directly we can specify load data in path and the other details. So let me log into the Cloudera Quick Start VM and we create a sample table called employee and let's load the data using the both load data local in path and also the load data in path. I have just logged into the Cloudera Quick Start VM. Just click on the terminal. And uh, we have uh, created the educators um, database. Let's create this table inside the database. But before that, let me log into the Hive shell. And once the Hive shell is there, then you can uh, display the databases. And from there, we can use our earlier created database. For example, we have, yeah, if your database is already exist, you can even, uh, because uh, in the last demo, what I have shown you guys is we created the educators database and after that we have deleted that. So for instance, let me quickly create it again, create database and database name is educators. Right, once this is done, now you see the database and it is there. So. From now onwards, whatever you are loading it, you must need to use the database, right? So that from here onwards, whatever you are creating, it will go here. So let's create a table, create table, for example, EMT, employee ID, which is integer, and employee name, string, let's just give the salary, some salary is also integer. Row format delimited and how the fields are terminated by let's in that our input file is separated by the comma. Alright, we have created the table. If you wanted to describe a table and see that, you can even uh, uh, describe EMT table. Yeah. Yeah. 
table not found table yeah it is not described table it is described all right it has given you the schema details employee id employee name and the salary so what we need to do right now the table is empty because we have not loaded anything all right see here so what we need to do is we have to load the data before loading the data we must require a file right so let's create a sample file as well so to have a sample file otherwise you can create your sample file or uh, you can directly attach you have been downloaded from the attached video as well so in this case let me just go open up another uh, thing and here let me just create a all right let me create a new file let's call it as emp and where where am i right now okay present working directory home cloud era inside the home cloud era i wanted to create a table called for example my emp is the uh, the table uh, the input file so which we are creating all right so it is employee id employee name and some salary let's assume this is the input file which you got it from your client some 103 some xyz some 8000 or so whatever just save that you can use any of the editor g edit or vi editor or any other editor you can uh, or you know see you can use that see i have created my input file is there so what we need to do we need to load this input file so where exactly the present working directory of the input file home cloud era slash my emp is the input file present working directory so we have to load this particular data into my hadoop so go back to your hive shell over here and you have to use load data local in part i am specifying the local here because that is a local file system which we created just now this is the entire path home cloud era and the path is uh, my emp this is the table and where i am loading into table which table emp is the table which we created right we have loaded that data if you wanted to see whether it is loaded or not what you can do select star from emp is the table you observe this whatever the content is there this content was loaded into your emp table this is how you can now uh, load the data into this with the help of your local import and let's assume that instead of the local file system we wanted to load a file from the hadoop distributed file system to the hive table how to load that is nothing but before uh, we are directly loading it in the hdfs let's prepare our input file and let's keep that into the hdfs first go back to the another shell right whatever the my emp table is there this content otherwise you can have the another content let me place that into the hadoop distributed file system home cloud era my emp is the content and i wanted to place that directly into the my employee for example oh there must need to be a space after uh, hadoop ss done if you wanted to see whether the data is there or not my employee this is my hadoop distributed file system file the content is there now we can load it go back to your hive shell and use the same command guys load data itself but here instead of the local it is not a local file just remove that load data in part so what is the hdfs path where you are having your uh, input file that is my employee is the input file so you can directly into the table either you can use the into or else you can also use the overwrite as well in specifying overwrite 
So if I give the override, it will simply delete the previous content and uh, uh, I mean it loads the data into it. Either you can use the override or also you can put the into table. Anything is fine. It's loading. The data is loaded. If you wanted to see, so let's start from EMP. See here, the first records were loaded with the help of the health system. And again the same records were loaded with the help of your load data in path and into the table. This is the place how you can now uh, have your entire data. If you use the override, it remove it deletes the entire data and it loads it fresh. Okay, this is how with the help of the load data command you can load the data and uh, you can load the data from either local or uh, HDFS. And apart from loading the data with the help of the load command, we are also having the insert command as well. So what exactly this insert does is, suppose if your data is already presented in one of the table, and if you wanted to load that data from one table to the another table, you can use this insert table statement. So here also we will be having insert into, ins if you see the syntax, we will be having insert into table, and table name and uh, from which table you wanted to load. You can write a select statement here. You can put where clauses and everything, whatever you want. In similar way, we will be also having the insert overwrite. This overwrite, as we seen it previously, so it removes the content and it will simply loads it from the fresh. So let me show you how to load the data from one table to the another table. So before I directly load this data into the table, uh, we must need to create a table first. So let's create a table. And also in this case what I wanted to do is, whatever the employee table uh, which we created earlier, from that employee table I wanted to load the data into the two separate, uh, you know, I wanted to load the data into the multiple tables. Like the salary whoever is getting less than 10,000 will be going into the one table and whoever is drawing more than 10,000 will be going into the separate table. So if you wanted to achieve that, you need to write a multiple insert statement. And after that, especially in the Hadoop, we also have the, some other things called a multi-table inserts, which is not there in the SQLs. In the high it is possible. We will be seeing it uh, after some time. So now, Let's create a sample table and let's insert. Uh, in this, we are we have already created a table called employee, right? So in the similar way, what we do is uh, let's create a table called less salary. That means the people who are getting less than ten thousand will be coming into this table, right? The same thing. Similar way, let's create a table with more salary as well. Right, we just created a table, it is done. So now what we need to do, we need to take the data from the employee table because if you see the employee table content, we'll be having this data. So whoever is having less than 10,000 will be coming over here. So how to load this data? We will be using the insert statement. Insert into table. Which table I wanted to insert? Less table. And uh, which data I wanted to insert, select star from, right, which table, EMP table, where salary is less than, right, less than or equal to 10,000. Those records will be inserted into my less salary table. And it launches the map register as you can see over here. Right, so this is done. And if you wanted to see whether any records were loaded into my uh, less salary table, you can see that select star from less salary table. See here, as per our query, insert into the less salary from the employee table where salary is equal to less than or equal to 10,000, those records came here. In the similar way, if you wanted to do into the some other table, what we need to do, the same command, insert into the table.
stable and which table name let's assume that this is the more salary select star from employee table itself and where salary is greater than 10000 all those records will be coming into the more salary table and it is loaded and if you see whether the data is loaded or not into the more salary table it is there whoever is getting more than now 10000 but if you see this there is a disadvantage that means a performance degradation right now my employee table is small that is the reason why every time I am reading it and based on that the condition whatever I am showing it over here whether the salary is 10,000 or less or more based on that condition we are uh, distributing the data loading the data into the specific table but in the real time tables are million rows will be available so every time reading this table is not a good practice so in the Hadoop Hi, what we have is there is specific thing called a multi table insert. Multi table insert, what it does is it simply reads a table once. That means whatever the employee table is there, it just reads the table once and at a time it will be loading that uh, data into the multiple tables like a more salary and less salary. All these tables it will be loading. Unlike uh, in this case, we have executed a separate insert statement. It took a lot of time to read the millions of records and distribute. So to avoid that, to improve the performance, we are going to use the multi-table insert. Yeah. So if you see the multi-table inserts, the purpose of this is to minimize the number of scans required. So it simply reads the table once and it loads the data into the multiple tables. So how you are going to specify this is nothing but the same insert statement instead of writing a multiple times we'll be using the from class once and then we'll be writing the multiple insert statement and if you see this suppose the same thing if I wanted to load this data from employee table I wanted to insert this data into the multiple table either you can use the insert into or insert over right it can be anything yeah if you see this earlier how many records were there uh, in our uh, less than we have four records and in more than we have two records so what I'm gonna do is instead of doing it separately let's use our uh, multi table insert statement so here from EMP that is the EMP table I'm gonna read and now we are going to load that data insert into table EMP table I'm oh sorry less than table select here what, what we are going to do is instead of using a from select star from EMP we are just going to use a select star no from EMP here directly I can give where salary is it's going to equal to 10,000 and in the next line I am going to insert into the more salary write which statement select star where salary is greater than 10,000 that's it the single statement, these are all the single statements we are going to execute it. A map reduce job was submitted. You can see the results once this is done. And yes, this is successful. And once it is successful, if you see whether it is loaded or not, see this earlier we had only the four records. If you observe this, the earlier we had only the uh, four records were available when I execute the select star from less salary. Now, after our job is executed, you can see that uh, there are a lot of records were available. See this? Eight records were there. That means it loaded the data. Earlier two records were there, now four records. Like this. For instance, any of the case where you wanted to read the table once and load into the multiple tables with any of the where clauses, any of the conditions, you can use this multi table insert statements. Summary. So, in this module, we have understand how to load the data using the uh, local file system and also we have understand how to load the data directly using the Hadoop distributed file system. And also we understand the purpose of the inserts to load the data into the tables with the help from one table to the another table.
and also to improve the performance, we have seen the latest thing in the high, the new thing in the high when you compare to the SQLs, which is a multi-table inference. To improve the performance, we are using this multi-table inference to read the table once and load the data into the multiple table. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.